Yo guys, how's it going on and welcome back to our video, I hope you're having a fantastic day and today as you see my title, there is possibly going to be crossplay within Rainbow Six Siege. I know that is absolutely crazy, I've been on the R6 Reddit, people have been speaking about it, it's a discussion slash rumour, however I wanted to speak about today, how it would kind of work, what people really kind of think of it and if it did happen, what would it do? Also, before we do get into the video, I know I am playing a terror stun. I have put the V-Sync on and it is still laggy, so I might actually just change the gameplay soon in the next videos to like casual and so on, but I really do apologize about that. It's just really, really weird. So guys, if you're new around here, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And apart from that, let's get straight into the video and let's talk about if crossplay should be in the game or not. So crossplay, if you didn't know what it is, is where all platforms on Rainbow Six Siege can play with each other, which is really, really good, because if you've got friends that obviously are on other platforms and you want to be able to play with them because you're on Xbox, they're on PS4, but you can't because obviously, because it's not cross-platform. Well, with this, you are going to be able to play with them, and it's just going to make life so much easier so you can actually play with your friends, and it's really, really helpful, because then you don't have to go and get another console, you don't have to play games that have to be cross-platform or anything like that, and you can literally just play with each other all the time. And that's what Fortnite did, and it's just broadened the horizons with everything, so they can literally just adapt and change more stuff when it does come to the game, and it has definitely worked for them. Now, cross-platform can be quite hard to do, just purely because of how platforms do work, especially with glitching, lag, and obviously just the way it does happen, because you do get different connection issues with it, and it can be very annoying, and that's fully understandable when it does come to it, because you need to make sure you do get it right if you are going to be able to do it. However, if it does happen, the only downfall I can see with this actually happening is where kind of people are using keyboard and mouse against actual controllers. It's just going to be stupidly OP and people aren't going to want that because keyboard and mouse is so much like easier to kill people with because obviously your reactions are faster and stuff like that. However, it is harder to use, but that is the thing at the end of the day is the whole PC pads will just demolish people within the actual crossplay. I don't think it should personally be in the game. If it is, it should just stick to the consoles, not the PC. And if it is PC, then make sure that you can only use a controller. However, there's probably ways where it kind of disguises your keyboard and mouse as a controller. But guys, this is all literally just a rumor slash discussion, just purely because of this Reddit form, and it kind of does make sense when they do explain anything about it. So, pew because they had a splinter cell crossover, people thought maybe they're actually going to do some more of it. So, they're going to do some actual kind of things where they're going to different actual plays and they actually go and cross play on other games. And it's either going to be this, as in Rainbow Six Siege, or it is going to be Ghost Recon. People do think Ghost Recon will most likely be more. I hope it kind of isn't, but and then it's weird because I want them both to be on there. But yeah, I don't know, it's hard to say because if they do get it, it'll be a big update. And I won't see it for ages, maybe like a year or so. And if they do plan to actually have Rainbow Six Siege as a game that lasts for even like four or five years and then wants it to last even longer than that, then I definitely recommend they do get cross in this game because it will just allow people and it will just entice people to play it more because they can play with their friends on different consoles. So if you've got friends that are obviously at school who are on Xbox and they're on PS4 or they're on PC, then you can just play with them all together. And I think people will literally just prefer that so much more. But again, guys, like I said, this is a discussion. We don't know if it's happening for sure, but if it does happen, my guess is it will probably be a year and it'll probably be announced probably at the start of next year's season when they do announce everything on the kind of Pro League idea thing. And that is just kind of my guess. If they were going to announce it, it'll probably be around that time. I don't think they would announce it during mid-season, anything like that, because it's a massive thing to turn into the game. It'd be at the start of a year type thing. So maybe year six, maybe year seven, if it does come to it. Now, another thing as well I would like to actually speak about with this kind of thing is if we did get cross-platform play, is that the whole thing about it is we could get bot lobbies on online. Because you see that in Fortnite. I did a video about this in Fortnite, literally just pure because Xbox will just couldn't be asked to wait for actual Xbox players to play because you can change the settings so you only pay people on Xbox. They couldn't be asked to change the setting or just a wait for people to actually just be Xbox people because you can only match with people that only want to play Xbox. So if anyone, if anyone changes that settings and they do exactly what Fortnite did, then we're going to get bot players and people are not going to want that one bit because it could either go two ways. It could either go really, really well and people literally will just get easy players to play against and then there's stupidly easy games and get tons of kills. And to be fair, I don't think that's a massive thing people do want. I think people like their competitiveness with Rainbow Six Siege and that is kind of one of the main reasons they do play it. But, and then also, this could, as you depend on the bots, it could make them like the T-Hunt realistic bots. Like, they're stupid. They're literally just glued aim bot onto you. I can understand because they are bots at the end of the day. But if that did happen, then literally you'd be getting into games and you'd just be coming against stupidly OP 
bots and you just be dying it you just take the fun away from Rainbow Six Siege because at the end of the day people want to play against other people who have actually got skill they have a bit of mistakes here and there and that's just how the game is meant to be so that's the only like down thing I can see with a uh, cross platform plan obviously as well as the whole kind of mouse and keyboard thing because again that is huge when it does come to it because people aren't gonna like playing against mouse and keyboard especially if they are on controller so yeah guys let me know what you actually do think about it i think it's a very big controversial topic a part of me thinks yes they should do it it'll make the game so much better and to be fair since this new season started i'm absolutely loving it i love playing the game again i've fallen back in love with it and it could really help Rome succeed just become a better game in general but on the other hand, it could literally ruin the game because people are just going to be fed up because they're going to be playing against like bots or they could just be playing against mouse and keyboard people. So it's a very, very difficult situation. I'd like to see what they actually do, do with it. Again, we don't know if this is fully happening. It's a discussion slash rumour that we've seen on R6 Reddit just purely because of other games. They've just brought in crossplay into obviously Splinter Cell and it could be either to Ghost Recon or Rome Six Siege. So it'd be very interesting to see, but I won't see it happening for ages if they do do it on Rome Six Siege just purely because the amount of games they've actually got going right now, especially with Assassin's Creed, Ghost Recon, Splinter Cell, etc. But apart from that, guys, we're going to leave the video there for today. If you did enjoy it, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and apart from that, until next time, see ya.